What's up guys, back for another Honkai Star Wars video, and we do have the new Planner Fissure rerun. Let's go! We love Planner Fissure events, we love double drops, we love getting main stat, like, defense on your DPSs, and main stat, like, crit damage, or not crit damage, you know what I mean. You, you get the point, right? You We love getting terrible rolls. I'm not done my runs yet, uh, so if you already have, best of luck, hopefully you got some good stuff, but I'm here to do a... Not a tier list, but pretty much what you should be farming. At least my recommendations. As always, I always recommend you guys to read through the kit and give your best educated guess before you jump in, right? Obviously, all, everybody can't be correct. I will say I do my mistakes, but in my opinion, these are the correct ones to farm. And we even have the upcoming character on here because it should be pretty obvious what you want with them. Um, normally I would make this tier list as we go throughout the video because that's just better content. You know, a lot of people are just going to hop in and see the tier list and go, cool. Anyway, I'm out of the video, which, you know, the whole point of a YouTube video is to watch the whole thing, you know? So if you're cool, you'll watch the whole thing. Um, unfortunately, I don't quite have time for that as, you know, we got to go to work and all that. And I ended up having, a, um, I don't know if you guys are going to remember this. If you do, shout out to you guys. I used to have these headaches that would make my visions blurry, And I actually had the first one in like months. Luckily, it was a small one. So it's just like a headache and I have like fine vision. But it actually like messed me up because I was so panicking. I was like, I'm gonna have to go to work and just like sit there and be miserable. So or, we're running a bit late because of that. But we have enough time for this video so let me go ahead and pop up all of the stuff i'm gonna go over everything in the background so you're gonna hear me clicking on stuff as i go through just so i can talk about the planner ornaments uh but yeah let's let's actually zoom in a little bit all right you know, let's, let's 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 zoom in so we can uh, get a better idea all right that's fine all right so we're gonna skip multiple sets for now really quickly and we're going to go with untoppled walls right here. So untoppled walls is going to be the space stealing station and the fleet of the ages. Fleet of the ages is increase the worst max HP by 12%. The worst speed reaches 120 or higher. All odds attack increased by 8%. And space stealing station increased the worst attack by 12%. The worst speed is 120 or higher. The worst attack increased by 12%. Pretty much, this is going to be your attack scaling units, such as Robin, and your HP scaling units, like Wohu, Bailu, Lynx, and all that, pretty much. Uh, I believe Locha was the attack scaling one, right, for healing. Pretty straightforward. It just it gives everyone attack, which DPS is like having more attack, they just do more damage, right? And it gives the healers more HP, because they scale off of it. Pretty straightforward with that one. Uh, then we have Smelted Heart. Smelted Heart is going to be the Talia set which increases the wearer's break effect by 16 percent when the wearer's speed reaches 145 or higher the wearer's break effect increases by 20 percent it also has bond whack which increases the wearer's energy regen rate by five percent when their speed is 120 or higher their action is advanced by 40 percent at the start of the battle now all three of these characters are going to be talia unfortunately also i have i'm pretty sure i sorted everybody by what they're using so these two are using the attack set these guys are using the hp set these ones are using the talia set there's no bond wax set because those are in the multi sets so these are the three bond or sorry the three talia sets because they use break effect then we're going on to gentle word gentle words is the pan cosmic set which increases the words effective rate by 10 percent meanwhile the words attack increases by an amount that is equal to 25 of the current effect hit rate up to a maximum 25 percent then it also has probably one of the worst planner ornaments which is the celestial uh increase the worst crit damage by 16 percent when the worst current crit damage reaches 120 or higher after between battle the worst crit increases by 60 percent until the end of their first attack god knows what the fuck they were thinking with that second part i'm not gonna lie so no no one uses that those two are just the effect hit rate ones it was just black swan for the longest time but now we have our uh, new effect hit rate bestie right there. Then we have Permafrost. Permafrost is going to be the Bellabog set, which increases the wearer's defense by 15%. When the wearer's effect hit rate is 50% or higher, the wearer gains 15% extra defense. Then we have Celsado. Now, Celsado is a good set. We we're going to talk about that later, so don't worry about why the hell no one's with that. That is just going to be the uh, defense set. Then above them in the Fruits of Evil, we have the Rulet Arena set, which increases the Warrior's crit rate by 8%. The Warrior's current crit rate reaches 70% or higher. Damage is up by basic attack and skill increased by 20%. 
but pretty much these are the characters like Don Hay uses his basic attack uh Zhu Shang uses skill basic attack like all that kind of stuff all these characters are known for using basic attack or their skill uh most of the time they like get an enhanced basic or like for Zhu Shang's case she uses her skill over and over and over right when their weakness broken and then the other four characters are going to be using the broken heal set which increases the wear's effect rise by 10 percent when the wear's effect rise 30 percent or higher all allies crit damage increases by 10 percent this is pretty much because these two scale off of crit damage i just opened up a pop-up thing and it's absolutely scared the hell out of me these guys scale off crit damage yukong is kind of like a somewhat of a dps in a sense and technically speaking you can put the uh, fire mc in permafrost but i feel like their shield is so piss poor as it is you might as well just go for effect res because you are taunting and if you get frozen or whatnot then you're not able to taunt and gg your other units are getting hit if you are using the fire mc uh then we will pop up to pouring blades now pouring blades is a funny one because it is the dilemma set would increase the words attack by 12 percent when the warrior's speed is equal to 135 or 60 the warrior deals 12 percent to 18 percent more damage obviously if you have 160 you're doing 18 percent if you're doing 135 you're doing 12 percent then there's also pen and coney which increases the wearer's energy regeneration rate by five percent increases damage by 10 percent for all other allies that are the same type as the wearer every character here is using Glamoth on the set because Pen and Coney is another set where I said I'd come back to it in the multi sets, right? You're probably seeing a pattern with this. Then is Two Sweet Dreams. Two Sweet Dreams is going to be the. Oh, I just realized I actually have this one backwards. There we go. The first one is the Signonia. Sag yep, I said that right. Increase the wearer's crit rate by 4%. When an enemy target is defeated, the wearer's crit damage increases by 4%, stacking up to 10 times when you get 4% crit rate and 40% crit damage. This is the pure fiction set. So Argenti, Himiko, and Herda are going to excel in this because when they defeat an enemy, they get more crit damage, and hence they do more damage. Pure fiction is pretty much the easiest way to get this set to pop off. I mean, there probably is other events and whatnot that have a lot of enemies, but considering you have to defeat 10 enemies, pure fiction is kind of like the only place where they proc this. Then we have good old Akron set, which is the Izumo set which increases the warrior's attack by 12 percent when entering battle if at least one other ally follows the same path increase the warrior's crit rate by 12 percent this is good because akron needs another nihility character even at e2 you still need at least one nihility character on the team and since you get the 12 percent crit rate with akron you're good to go there right so she is the sole user of that for now then we have the eternal comedy set which will be the last one this one is going to be the Duran set, which when an ally uses the follow-up attack, the wearer gains one stack of merit. Stacking up to five times. Each stack of merit increases the damage up by the wearer's follow-up attack by 5%. When there are five stacks, additionally increase the wearer's crit damage by 25%. So you will have 25% follow-up attack damage and 25% crit damage. No one uses that in that set. You'll see there's one at top, right? Then we have the Forge or the lantern, whatever you want to call it, set, increases the wearer's speed by 6%. When the wearer hits an enemy target that has fire weakness, the wearer's break effect increases by 40% for one turn. Now, you might be wondering, why is the imaginary MC here? Because they're not fire. Gallagher and Firefly make sense. They're break units. They're fire. You use them together. That is because Firefly implants fire weakness. So, technically, you can put Ruin May here as well if you really want to. That's why she's in multi-set, though. Uh, and... You're good to go pretty much just either you're fighting a fire enemy or you're using a firefly they're always gonna have a fire weakness you get six percent speed which is great for break teams and then you get the 40 percent break effect which is good because your own maze is going to help give more break effect harmony mc is going to give more break effect and then gallagher and firefly will hit harder with their break effect being higher from the set so it's a big w there then let's jump into the two misfit sets which are the durance ostano set pretty much what these two do are increase the crit rate or crit damage of follow-up attack units. It really depends on what you need, right? If your unit needs more crit rate, you just go sell Stato. If they need more crit damage, you've got a good amount of crit rate, you go Duran. Obviously, Duran only works if you have other follow-up attack units. So if you're running Hyper Carry Jing Yun, probably shouldn't run Duran because he's not going to be able to get follow-up attacks and then you just don't get a buff, right? So there's a lot of stuff at play for that one it really depends on how your build is it depends on what teams you're building that's why they are in the durance Sal salsado set then the characters in multi-set can use 
multiple sets, right? Depending on what you need, such as like Ruin May, if you're running her with a break team, right? You would run something like Talia or Forge if you're with Firefly. If you're running her with a other team, like I said, like Jing Lu, then you'd probably run like Penicone if you have the same type and you want the energy regen. Or if you need something like Bonwack for Silver Wolf to go first so she can get the implant. Or maybe you need Pela to go first to get the uh, defense down. Or you might be running Broken Keel so you can get Broken Keel on Asta. Or. Whatever it may be, there's characters that run multiple sets and it really just depends what you need. Same with Blade. I believe he can use Roulette Arena or Selstado or maybe even Duran. I'm not too sure. I haven't looked at Blade in a minute in that regard. And then Jade, I'm pretty sure also functions the same way. You can run her as like a pure fiction bot. You can run her with Duran if she's with other fall attack units, right? Um, you can run her Selstado probably. That's rather on multi sets, right? So it really just depends on what you're using these units for, or if you want to build multiple sets, like I said, for like Jade, or if you want to run her in a follow up set, or you want to switch her over to Pure Fiction, make Pure Fiction easier for you. It really just depends on what you are using them for. Uh, but if you guys have any questions about the list, let me know in the comments. Give your thoughts on it in the comments as well. If you think something should change, if you say uh, this set works better for this character. And let me know what you guys are farming. If you already farmed, let me know if you got any good rules. I'll probably do my farming in a day or two. Um, I think I'm going to go for some Duran pieces. Just because I don't think I have any crazy ones. Same with the uh, Forge set. I got kind of rolled. Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see what units I'm going to build up in my uh, repertoire of unbuilt units. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.